Mouse and I are back for part three and what we're going to do is we are going to actually uh, complete the skills application and uh, you'll get an idea of what it is you need to do. Now what I'm going to do is toggle right here to the spreadsheet and I'm not real sure how they have it set up on the test but let's just assume that we have an empty worksheet and that's what we're going to be working from. So I'm going to go back right now to the data and the charts that are, are the tables that are on here and what I'm going to do is I am just going to copy the information and I'm going to go over here to the spreadsheet and I'm just going to paste it down and if you look you can see that it has the numbers here uh, the conversion factor if you want to make that a little bit bigger you certainly can but this is just the information that you need to complete the chart okay let's go back over here and we want to uh, we want to also copy and paste the information and what I am going to do is go over to the spreadsheet and I'm just going to paste it right here. So there's the information that uh, you are going to be working with and so now we're going to toggle back and we're going to see what is it that you should be doing with this information. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to um, let's not work with the formulas yet, let's work with all the formatting. You're going to include a column header for each of the five planets. So if you look here, each of the five planets have their column header. Also, they are going to be center justified and they're going to be bold. So we'll go back over here and actually you can see when you click here that they are indeed already bold, but they are not center justified. So let's just go all the way across. Let's just go all the way across here and click on center to center justify them. Oops, look here, this one is not bold. So one of the things that you want to do, sometimes you can't tell when you're looking at a chart, but if you notice the B is not highlighted, let's go ahead and bold that so we don't get any points counted off. I'm not sure why it was that way. Now we're going to have a row header for each of the four objects. And uh, as you can see up here, um, I believe it says, um, Let's see. He wants, where is it? Showing the weight of the student's selected object on each of the five planets. So what we are going to need to do is we are going to need to go ahead and have an additional row and we're going to call it just object. You can call it whatever you want, but just for purposes of this little exercise, I'm going to call it an object and you can include, you can put an iPod, a TV, a uh, Game Boy, PlayStation, whatever you want to put in there. All right, now, so we have a row header for each of the four objects, and they need to also be left justified and bold. So let's pop over here, and let's go. They are left justified, and they are bold. Okay, let's go back here, and we want single rule border for interior cells, double rule borders for column and row headers, and 20% gray shading for the column headers. So we're going to go over here, so you see that it already has single, but if you look here you'll see that the student object does not have anything. So we're going to click on this little thing and we're going to have all the borders are single rule. Um, there are different weights right now which looks kind of messy, so let's just go ahead and click on this so all of the borders look the same. And we want to have 20% gray shading. So here's the shading box and you can uh, click right here, 15%, scroll here, 25%. So as you can see, there is no uh, 20%. So let's just click there to the 15%. As long as it's gray, you'll be doing just fine. Uh, let's go back. We want to express all weight to two decimal places. All right. so everything here is going to be and if you look right here you can see that this decreases decimal and this increases decimal so let's increase it to two places and that will have increased it let's try this out and see if that works 78 yes indeed it has and let's go down here and test it 78 7800 yep it does it to two decimal places so as you're going along doing your problem you can do little checks like that just to make sure that you have it right and here we go, um, center the title, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this, weight of weights of objects on five planets across cells A1 through F1. 